If you are a complete and total beginner, I promise you that the simple exercise that I'm going to teach you in this video will make you a better player in a pretty short amount of time, maybe even within an hour. So how does this work? You may be surprised to hear that your first lesson should not be chords and reading music and so on. In my opinion, your first lesson should be to learn how to use your fingers. You know, you play the piano with your fingers, right? So you need to train them. Of course, you also need to learn chords and how to read music. But in my opinion, those topics should not be your first lesson. You would only be frustrated. So let's jump right in. Have a look at this sequence. That is C, E, F, G and A. We first train your right hand, then your left hand and then both hands at once. Let's do this together very slowly and your job is to take care that you play all the notes with the same loudness and such that their sounds are clearly separate from each other. So do not smear the notes like this. But separate the notes from each other very distinctly by clearly raising your finger before playing the next note like this. Also, use your thumb for the first note, your index finger for the second, your middle finger for the third, your ring finger for the fourth, and your little finger for the fifth. Do not use your whole hand like this, but let your hand rest in a relaxed state and use only your fingers. <clears throat> Do it as slowly as you have to in order to achieve a clear separation of the notes. It really makes no sense at all to rush through the exercise if you are smearing the notes. It really must be precise. So play it as slowly as you have to. Doing it slow is absolutely fine. Let's do it with the right hand a few times. Now let's use our left hand. Use the same fingering like me. So little finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger and thumb. Now let's use both hands together and again take your time, be as slow as you need to, to clearly separate the notes both with your left and your right hand. The next stage of the exercise is to mirror the sequence like this. So first we played this and now this. Let's play it in the same way as before, first with our right hand, then with our left hand and then with both. Again pay attention to play the notes with the same loudness and to separate them from each other by clearly raising your fingers. The third and last stage of the exercise is to combine the first and second stages. 
we will play the sequence of the first stage. This time start here, one octave lower, and when we are done we'll play it again, but this time we start one key to the right, so here at D. And then we do it again, one key to the right. We will continue until we reach this point. And here we will start to play the mirrored sequence of the second stage in a downward fashion. Until we reach our starting point. Okay, now let's do this. Of course, you can first use your right hand, then your left hand. I will start immediately with both hands. Don't be frustrated if your fingers don't really take your orders. In the beginning that's normal and the reason why we are doing this exercise. Even if you practice just a few minutes per day, you will see that you become better. But please do not play the exercise at a faster pace as long as you didn't fully master it at slow speed because that would, wouldn't help you at all. There are many more exercises like this that I could show you. Most of them were invented by a famous composer and piano teacher, Charles Louis Anon. Please let me know in the comments whether you want to see more videos of this kind. And now, practice and have fun. Bye.